Hello and welcome back to Middle East In-Depth. Today we will look at exiled Muslim Brotherhood figures going into Turkey and the shift of troops on the ground in Iraq. David Ignatius writes an article in the Beirut-based newspaper, The Daily Star, and it's on the shift to sending ground troops in Iraq, contrary to Obama's previous pledge not to do so. Ignatius starts by presenting a national security riddle. How can President Barack Obama provide limited military support on the ground to help degrade and ultimately destroy ISIS without formally violating his pledge not to send U.S. combat troops? The answer may lie in the legal alchemy known as Title 50. The writer adds, talking with U.S. and foreign military experts over the past week, I've heard two consistent themes. First, the campaign against ISIS will require close-in American training and assistance for ground forces, in addition to U.S. air power. And second, the best way to provide this assistance may be under the command of the ground branch of the CIA's Special Activities Division. Ignatius argues there are some obvious drawbacks with this approach. These special activities may be called covert, but their provenance will be obvious, especially to the enemy. They will build irregular forces in Iraq and Syria that may, be, may subvert, subvert those countries' return to a stable, transparent system of governance and military operations. And history tells us that black operations outside normal military channels can get ugly, opening a back door to torture, rendition and assassination. Ignatius concludes by saying, let's be honest, U.S. boots are already on the ground and more are coming. The question is whether Obama will decide to say so publicly or remain in his preferred role as covert commander-in-chief. As Qatar expels Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood figures, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says there is nothing stopping them from traveling to Turkey like any foreign guest. Tulin Dalalolu writes in Al Monitor, she argues, with the United States taking the lead in ramping up the fight against radical terrorists in the region, wealthy Gulf countries are exerting pressure on Qatar to expel exiled Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood officials. The wealthy Gulf countries, mainly Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, also consider the Muslim Brotherhood a terrorist organization. In a quasi-secret November 2013 agreement with Qatar, they tried to exert pressure on Doha to expel the Muslim Brotherhood officials. It is only now, however, that an agreement to do so is being implemented. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan was the first to hint that Muslim Brotherhood officials forced to leave Doha could travel to Turkey, saying, if they request to come to Turkey, we will review these requests case by case. If there are no reasons preventing them from coming to Turkey, we can facilitate their requests. They can come to Turkey like any foreign guest. For more updates, please visit Levant.tv. and subscribe to Mideast in-depth on iTunes. Thanks for watching, bye for now.